It's an ambitious goal at one of the busiest airports on the planet. Net zero for greenhouse emissions by 2030 as fuel prices continue to spike nationwide. And with the TSA now anticipating even more people flocking to the skies post pandemic. We expect this to be a busy summer. Getting there is requiring some supersized creativity and a heavy seasoning of science. If you're out at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport and you have a fryer in your restaurant, you're recycling oil. And it's what they're recycling that sold McDonald's owner Chalmer McWilliams, a company called Neste, asked if they could collect used cooking oil from his store and transform it into pure jet fuel. When it's no longer at the quality to make those great fries and we can repurpose it, why wouldn't you do that? The initiative between Neste and DFW Airport drain each fryer in each airport restaurant to fill up a massive tank. Each batch of oil, every order, adding up. So if you think about it, the fuel for your next airplane ride could start right here? It could start right here. That's wild. <laughs> Pratik Chandok, the technical manager behind Neste Sustainable Aviation Fuel Program, says it all comes down to chemistry. If you look at any oil, they all have this building molecules called hydrocarbons. So we can take those atoms, we can then do some uh, processing magic in our refineries and actually mimic the chemistry of a jet fuel. Once the company gets the oil to a refinery, it filters out all those nuggets and fries, heats it up, then adds hydrogen. At the end of the process, is there any difference from your fuel to existing fuel? There's no difference. It can be, it's the same jet fuel that you are using right now. From fryer to fleet, the conversion takes a couple months. But the company says one load alone, about 8,000 gallons worth, has been shown to reduce carbon emissions by 19 metric tons. Music to the ears of Robert Horton, who oversees the airport's environmental affairs. Do you see this as a way to fight climate change? Absolutely. This is one, one link to help us to get there. It, in and of itself, it's not going to accomplish everything that we need, but it's a starting point that helps to transition to what's next. The challenge now, convincing other airports to take part. A tall order, but one they say that technology is ready for. I just spent three dollars on fries. That oil could be going into a jet going halfway across the rail. It's amazing. Indication of whether other major airports are open to this idea? Yeah, Tom, I spoke to Neste and they said that Dallas Fort Worth, not the only airport using it. They mentioned San Francisco International Airport specifically and said that jets coming in and out of that airport are already using SAF. They're able to blend it with existing fuel with no problems whatsoever. And in case you're wondering about kind of the exchange rate from oil to jet fuel, they tell me for every gallon of that used cooking oil they get from those airport restaurants, at the end of the process, it equals about three quarters of a gallon of oh. jet fuel. So not a bad exchange mm -hmm. rate if you consider what they're taking and what it ends up being used as. No, wow. it, it's absolutely incredible. And we've never wanted chicken nuggets more in our life. Yeah. I was but. about to say, I'm going to supersize it next time. And I'm going to be like, it's for the environment. We'll all do our part. Yes, exactly. we will. Because we're givers. That's right. Yes. Exactly. That's right. And in fact, Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.